Now, about Chris Bowen and his big car ban. This is coming in the next couple of years' time, and I'm pleased to say a huge reaction to this. It is, yes, the war on Utes, the attempt for the people at the front end of the plane to tell the people at the back end of the plane what they must drive, despite the fact that twice as many Utes were being sold as the number one and number two sold cars in the country than the number three or number four. Chris Bowen says, oh, there's no ban on these things, but of course he's putting a system in place that means no one will be able to sell them. Oh, I'm not banning them. We're just squeezing people till eventually they have to ban themselves. Well, today, again, the auto industry is out there telling us the reality, that even if they are somehow able to sell thing like, things like a, uh, a Toyota Hilux or to be able to get a Ford Ranger out there, it's going to cost a lot of money. If the car you buy doesn't meet the government's new standard, puts the price of a car up quite dramatically. The biggest selling car last year was the Ranger, and one of those versions, the Ranger, $6,000 more in the first year. Mazda CX-5, for instance, you're looking at 4000 next year, going up to almost 13000 by 2029. What would that guy know? He only sells cars. He only is the interface between the car company and the car you want to buy. Chris Bowen is the idiot, as we told you last night, who's been in Parliament since 2004 and has not had to buy his own car for 20 years. These people all pretend they're in it for the worker, but they're really in it for the big end of town, the front end of the plane and the dinner parties, where they all can pat themselves on the back. Because Australia must do something about 1% of global emissions when China, which currently is 30% of global emissions, can continue to pollute double their pollution every day until 2030. And by that time, well, Australians are apparently all putting around in Jetsons hover cars by then. Fair dinkum, these people, they are ridiculous. Meantime, housing industry turning around and saying, if you're going to make it more expensive for a tradie to have a car, then guess what is going to happen? The cost of the tradie coming to your building site is going to become more expensive. And just in case you haven't had enough of the government telling us what to do, what about this from The Australian today? The federal government is now going to tell us about what the climate change impacts are on the food that we eat. The federal government's official advice on diets will now incorporate the impact of certain foods on climate change, sparking outrage from farmers who fear that it's driven by an ideological agenda against red meat. Look, if you want to chew kale till your heart's content, good luck. If you want to have red meat, good luck to you. Again, I repeat, Australia, 1, 1% of the world's problem. China, 30. Throw in the third world, throw in Russia, India, it's like two-thirds. When they fix up, we'll fix up.